Hey everyone, Rob here with Quadratech TV for another episode in our DIY series. Today we're going to show you how to replace the front hub assemblies. We've got our 2005 Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited to show you how to do the job. Lately we've had some grinding noise coming from the front axle, usually caused by a bad wheel bearing inside the front hub. Since we're going to have it all apart to replace the hubs, it's a great time to inspect your pads and rotors to see if they need to be replaced as well. After you have your Jeep up on the jack and your wheel removed, take the cap off the brake fluid reservoir and set aside. Using your 13mm socket, remove the two 13mm bolts that hold the caliper to the steering knuckle. Next, remove the caliper from the knuckle. Rest the caliper out of the way for now. Do not let the caliper hang by the hose. Slide the rotor off and set aside. Using your needle nose pliers, remove the cotter pin holding the axle nut retainer in place. Then remove the axle nut retainer and wave washer. Using your 36 millimeter socket and impact gun, or a large breaker bar if you don't have access to an impact gun, remove the axle nut and washer and then set aside. Using your 12-point socket, remove the three bolts that hold the hub to the steering knuckle. Slide the hub assembly and brake shield off the end of the axle and out of the steering knuckle. Clean up as much of the grime and rust as you can using a wire brush or a wire wheel. Reinstall the brake shield and your new hub assembly, making sure to line up the splines on the end of your axle shaft. Replace the three 13mm bolts that hold the hub onto the steering knuckle and torque to 75 foot-pounds. Replace the washer and axle nut, then torque to 175 foot-pounds. Reinstall the wave washer, nut retainer, and cotter pin. Slide the brake pad off the fixed side and discard. For now, leave the old pad on the brake piston side to help compress the brake piston. Using your large C-clamp, compress the piston. Remove your C-clamp and the brake pad from the piston side. With your wire brush, clean up the piston to remove any grime or rust that has built up. Use the included grease pack to lubricate any parts where the pads contact the caliper. Making sure you have the correct brake pads for the side you are working on, reinstall the pads on the caliper. Be very careful not to get any grease on the braking surfaces of the pads or the rotors. A good way to keep your rotor from moving around while reinstalling the caliper is to thread a couple of lug nuts on the studs hand tight. Just don't forget to remove them before installing your wheel. Reinstall the caliper by placing the notches in the pads onto the carrier and lining up your caliper bolts. Tighten your caliper bolts to 11 foot-pounds and remove the lug nuts. Clean the new brake components with brake cleaner. Now reinstall your wheel and repeat following the same procedure for the other side. Make sure to check out quadratech.com for all your Jeep parts and accessories.